Hey, what's up racers? RP here. And yeah, you guessed it. Today we're gonna be having some fun with the R34 Epic Nissan GTR. And but but first and foremost guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but word on the street is that Need for Speed is going back to Criterion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean what else can I say I think I think this is a step in the right direction because I think that this is a step in the right direction because look at all the go all the need for speed that goes made they didn't age pretty well talk about need for speed payback look at heat we are like how 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 many months has it been since the release I mean four or I think we're in the fourth or fifth month but this game has gotten just Two updates. I'm talking about the origin one. One was just uh, minor bug fixes, and the other added some support for steering wheel and chat wheel and all that nonsense bullcrap that nobody cared about. And all we wanted was some new events, maybe some new cars, and you know, Ghost is Ghost screws things up. And look at Criterion. They have, in my opinion, a really good after sales service. I mean, they keep adding to the game, boom, 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 and it it keeps players, definitely works, so I think it's a step in the right direction. So with that said, let's customize this baby, so, you know, I'm running stock on this car, but I just noticed that there is a forged version of this engine, forged 2.6 liter inline 6. It will give us 372 more potential horsepower. So you know what? I'm gonna cheap out right now. I'm gonna save my <laughs> ultimate plus glorious parts. I'm gonna buy that some engine and I'm gonna put it on this car. You know, this car is really good. It handles pretty well, but even at 347 this car feels just a bit underwhelming hey not gonna spend another buck on the parts i do have ultimate plus bar 355 365 375 come on please 376 please god turbo yes <laughs> Dual turbocharger pu pushed it over 400. 10 out of 10 acceleration, what is the number? Give me the number, 2.1 seconds. Alright, 233 miles an hour. Not too shabby, not too shabby whatsoever. Alright, we're done, we're 400 plus. I mean, this game could have done, could have added a forged version of the stock engine for every single car, but they didn't. They did it for this old ass car so that it is overpowered. That's what the Need for Speed Heat franchise is all about. Making old ass cars overpowered. Alright, with that said, customization. You know what? I'm, I'm done customizing the car. Everything is stock. Pretty much everything except for the calipers. They are Wilwood. I'm running the stock spoiler. Because uh, if you change the spoiler, you are a freaking weirdo. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Effects, blue nitrous, blue smoke. Come on, you gotta have blue with this car. Brian O'Connor. <laughs> so one thing that I did was I carbon painted the Nismo wheels. And I think it looks pretty clean, pretty sweet. <laughs> Just about there. Look at my character. <laughs> Even at 400 plus, this car is not really fast. I know I'm gonna go to hell just for saying that. How can I say that? R34 is not fast. My god! <laughs> The hell? Come on, stay, stay. <laughs> oh shit! It stayed for like a split second. Let's go, baby. R34 for days, man. One sixty, one seventy, one eighty, man. 
the initial pickup of this car is not so great but once it passed 120 it just holds oh my god That's an ugly Ferrari. You deserve to die. Oh my god, what a bad place to use the 50 times nitrous. No! No, 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 no. Don't get out of control, baby. Alright, we gotta make up that time. Can we do it? I think we can. Fourth place, come on. We're catching up. We're doing great actually. Oh my god, why do I keep using the nitrous when we are about to corner? these corners man the brake is not on point in this car I don't know I use the brake for drifting so this car is behaving what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to learn? Just by making stupid dumb ah mistakes. The weight distribution of this car is amazing, but the steering response of this car is finicky. Ah, sorry for that noise. Oh my god <laughs> Let's go baby 348 that's rubbish <laughs> So we're heading to a race event that I have never raced in my life before It's called Apollo Alright, let's give it a shot. I have never raced this event in my entire life. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, let's not let's not make that mistake again. I still have to figure out how to drift in this car. This is the point where we screwed up last time. My god. I don't know how to ha how to properly drift out of the corner in this car. I'm trying everything. I'm I'm using all the fans that I have from A to C, pressing the tr pressing the throttle, letting off the throttle, and using brakes, but it's not working. My god, look at that.
I don't know what am I supposed to do. How am I supposed to drift out of the corner of this car? I think I have to change the suspension to a showcase one to be able to maneuver the car in my way. This is a great car by the way. You don't drive an R34 for its capabilities. You, ah! <laughs> you drive this car because you wanna be <laughs> you wanna be a part of this car. This car was an absolute legend. Oh I uh, now I got it. Now I got it. I just gotta use just the tap of handbrake. That was just a bit early. Alright, alright, we got it. We got the money, baby. Uh, see that? Just the tap of handbrake. That was also a, just a bit early, but who cares? We made the turn. For real though, I think this car can hang on with the grown-ups, the super sport cars. Steering-wise, this car reminds me of the Lamborghini Aventador. That car is a piece of bitch. Just doesn't want to turn until I use just a tap of handbrake. My god. <laughs> I think I gotta change the suspension or maybe even tires I think a tire swap will do it 62 G's baby or speed cross showcase showcase let's go now I think we would be able to aha that's what I'm talking about you know I'm from only for speed games man I got I gotta drift out of the corners I'm not about I'm about enjoying the corners. Yeah. And if you play this game, I think you are too. Oh, Mazda RX-7. Dude, next video is gonna be on a drift build. Hold my beer. I'm gonna drive a drift car. My god. Jesus! Oh no no! Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> now it feels so good! <laughs> Just moving. Oh my god. But I gotta be attentive with the with the steering foot. Now I don't even need a handbrake. This feels so good. Finally the R34 that I wanted. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 baby. Unlike the Mustang, this doesn't kill this cornering speed. You know what I mean? It can corner fairly well. The same mistake again. Oh, now I got it. I gotta... I gotta let off the turn while I make the corner. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Woo! I think this car is 
this car does have the potential to be a amazing and amazing good car yes you see that <laughs> <laughs> this game is so broken <laughs> if you don't realize what happened this car just shot some flames through the exhaust and the game registered that as crossing the finish line <laughs> oh my god that was hilarious fucking god all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to support you know support support the channel if you enjoy and this car is insane r34 gtr gets all my respect baby maybe i should try putting some drift tires but that's in the future that said thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one hala hala you know what the fuck peace out everybody <laughs>